Hey friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing a layout for the Coco Vanilla Studio design team and I'm using More Than Words and I love this collection. It's totally up my alley. And, um, and so I broke into it again and created with it and I'm so happy that this was the paper collection that I chose to use for this layout. Um, it just turned out so pretty. Um, I want to say please excuse my voice. I have been feeling really crappy um, all week and so I pretty much feel like I have like nails in my throat <laughs> and so I'm hoping it's not something that's too bad but by the time you guys watch this I will be fine. <laughs> so there's my little one showing me her unicorn uh, keychain that she broke and I'm starting with the background so that background I chose that floral paper which is one of my absolute favorites from the collection and so I chose to use that as the background so more as like the matting for the black and white polka dot and then that peachy kind of um, colored um, trim that I'm using there and so this photo was taken last year, about the same time. This is when we went to uh, Jamaica and we were just at dinner and we were just being really silly with the camera. And <laughs> I snapped this picture and my little one was like just about to say something, but she still looks so cute. So it printed it got and scrapped it's getting. <laughs> So I'm using my paper trimmer, or as my husband lovingly refers to it as machinery. Thank you to all of you who watched that video of my husband does my voiceover. Um, you guys are amazing. You, you guys really filled his head. He said to me uh, this morning that he wants to do another one. And I was like, oh, hold up, buddy. This is not your channel. This was just for fun. And he's like, just one more. I need to give the people what they want. So I thought that was hilarious. So all the nice comments really got to him and made him feel like a million bucks. And for that, guys, I thank you so much. Um, yeah, so here I'm just matting the photo. So I'm using papers from the collection that I already had cut into. So I didn't go crazy with the matting, just a couple um, layers here and there, just to add a bit of something. And I'm also using that little um, two by three card. It says, you make my heart smile. And that is from the cut apart sheet in the collection. And so I thought it just was perfect because, you know, as mothers, our kids are everything to us. And she makes my heart smile. Now this is my oldest one and my oldest little and my little one makes me melt as well. So I mean, I don't have a favorite, obviously, <laughs> but um, I try to document their um, photos evenly if I can. <laughs> That's harder to do um, sometimes because sometimes you just get better pictures of a, one certain kid, right? And so that was, you know, the case here. And so that little one did not want to cooperate for me at all. So yeah, the big one's getting scrapped. <laughs> So the title that I'm going to use, um, part of it will be from the chipboard um, accent, so the phrases, and this is on the chipboard accent sheet, so it's going to say precious, and then I'm also digging into my Thickers collection here, and this is, um, I think these are called Goldie, so it'll say precious girl. So I'm just using some extra glue to tack it down and making sure it doesn't fall off <laughs> some point down the road. So I also use my We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. Now, like, I seriously love this thing. I think it was, like, the best investment ever. Um, and so... I was just really happy to get it and now I seem to be using it on every single layout 
because I love, okay, don't get me wrong, I love when manufacturers create the tabs for you, but I also love the versatility of, you know what, I like this paper, I want to make it a tab, here I go, let me punch it out. And so, you know, you can make your own custom embellishments with, you know, one of your simple tools, or as my husband refers to them as machinery. <laughs> So I'm also going through the uh, die cut ephemera here and I'm just going to create some clusters here. So that sticker there says my darling and I'm going to create two uh, more predominant um, clusters. So one at the bottom there where the title is and then I'm also going to create another one at the top there where the um, where the two by three card is. It's not going to be as elaborate or large, but it will, um, there will be two. So also you saw that I added that corner piece that was that black corner piece um, to the layout. I needed a bit more black because that card, that card is pretty predominant and it's so, it, it, did, it wasn't balanced enough. So by by adding, I can't talk today, guys. <laughs> so by adding that um, black corner piece there, it really ba balances the entire layout out, well, the color scheme with the black out. So I'm just shopping the ephemera here. Um, I didn't go nuts, surprisingly enough, with the with the embellishing on this layout. I did embellish, but considering what I usually do, it wasn't so much. <laughs> so I'm going to create a base now. I'm going to end up using a flare button. And what I do is use um, some yellow thread. And I'm just going to wind that around my fingers and just create a little nest. I'll call it a nest <laughs> um, for the flare to sit within. And so I'm going to use that flare button that has a butterfly on it. And I just use some, I use a lot of glue actually, to be quite honest. Um, surprise, surprise, right guys? <laughs> Lena the overgluer. But my OG uh, subscribers know why. So, shine oh. so sorry, <laughs> that's my phone. Um, and uh, yeah, so I just, I... I put down a lot of glue and I do that because I don't glue the thread down but I do glue the flare button on top of the nest of thread if that makes any sense. Now I'm just going through with the sticker accents um, and I'm just choosing my favorite words here. Um, so there's one that says you and me and one that says together and then that little one in the top right hand corner says with you always. And I'm just using my hot glue gun and I'm just going to adhere these two butterflies down. One for me, one for her. And I like using the hot glue gun for um, sticking stuff down. It just, it's so fast, right? And so I contemplated using those really big butterflies that you see in the top left hand corner. Those are from, um, that's from one of the sheets, the cut apart sheets, but it was just way too big. I want to use those. I'll find another layout to use those on. But um, in this case, I just went through with the two smaller ones. You see my happy dance? I was so happy that I used up a whole package of enamel shapes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for all the love, all the comments. I love you guys to the moon and back. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye.